what would you consider the five best in acting notes to remember as an actor in your career? This has been my experience. Number one, be nice and courteous to everyone and anyone that you meet on a set. Not because you want another job, not because you want to keep working as an actor, but it doesn't cost you anything to be nice to people who are working probably hours much more than what you're working. Just remember, as an actor, you come on set to do your lines, say your lines, do your acting and go home. Think about the people that are there before you and after you. It's triple amount of time, they're working much more than you're working and they're probably getting paid less, but still they have a smile on their face and they're happy to see you and they're happy to look after you. Likewise, it doesn't take you much to be nice to every single person that you communicate with on set. Of course, everyone's going to have good days and bad days, but being nice and courteous at all times gives you a great reputation and people are going to want to work with you again. That is if your acting is good, which I'm sure it is. Number two, know and do your job. I'm talking much more about just learning your lines and saying that dialogue that you have spent all night rehearsing. Know what your call time is, get there early, be attentive, listen to what everyone's telling you, not just the director and the assistant director, but what wardrobe says, what hair and makeup says, anything that you've heard, confirm it with people so that you know when they call action, you know exactly for 200% you know what you're doing. There have been many times when I have gone on a set and we've had to wait for an actor because they got confused about the call time, or they got confused about the day, or they were just confused, period. You can't afford to do that whether you're a celebrity or not a celebrity. Being on time on set is vital. And at the same time, do know your lines. I'm not saying don't ever remember your lines. Know your lines like the back of your hand. Make sure that if you get nervous or if you're getting fearful, you can still say those lines with the same passion or anger or whatever emotion you're having to emote at that point that you can do it. When you know and do your job, people are going to want to work with you even more because they know that you are the person that can deliver in a happy, in a tense, or just a stressed out environment. If you know your job and do your job under any circumstance, you're sure to be back on that set or another set very, very soon. Number three, be organized and adult-like. I can't begin to tell you how organized I have become since I've entered the world of entertainment. I have no other choice, because if I'm not organized, I'm going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. I have electric calendars, hard paperback calendars, and I have a big calendar in my room slash office that shows me the days that I'm occupied, that shows me the days that I'm free. And adding on to that, at the same time, I regulate how much I go out. Again, I'm not in my 20s, so I can't go out till 4 in the morning and expect to go to a set at 6 o'clock in the morning. You've got to think carefully that if you have an early start the next day that starts at 6 a.m., do you really want to be out till 3 a.m. in the morning partying with your friends who have nothing to do with entertainment and can take the day off work? Remember, taking the day off work for you when you've booked a job is never going to be an option because if you take that one day off work you can assure yourself that you will not have a career so get a schedule get a calendar mark it all down know the days that you are free plan your life which i encourage you to do outside of work when you know you have two or three days free go and enjoy yourself but when the work's on you've got to be on have a schedule be adult like Keep yourself disciplined and you're sure to go way ahead in this career. Number four, which is probably one of the most important things that we forget to do as actors. Enjoy your downtime. Live your life. I remember I was on a project for two weeks straight and I had to work every single day. All I could do was go to set, do my job, sleep, repeat the process. When those two weeks ended, I made sure that I re-energized myself. I took a vacation and I went on holiday. I came back and I was re-energized and I was ready to go again. Remember, downtime for actors could be very big periods or very small periods of time. Whatever it is, remember to keep living your life, enjoying yourself. Because if you're not enjoying yourself, what makes you think that you're going to enjoy the job once you book it? You have to be in a happy state of mind, and that happy state of mind comes from a combination of work and play, not just work and not just play. So remember, enjoy your downtime, live your life. 
And lastly, number five, which is probably the best advice anyone ever gave me. Enjoy the highs and survive the lows. Acting is such a profession where you will have everything in month one. In month three, it could be that you have nothing. And then in month five, you have everything. You've got to learn to adapt to the highs and the lows and accept that there will be periods where you will book a lot of work, but there also will be periods where nobody will call you in. Again, I come back to what I said previously. In those times, enjoy your life. But all in all, enjoy the process. Trust the process. Accept there are going to be good times and there are going to be not so good times. The whole thing of acting is that you need to be able to enjoy it. Have fun with it. So when you've booked that job, celebrate, enjoy it. When you don't book a job, do something that keeps you creative. Keep yourself energized. But at the same time, make sure that you are having a good time. Because that's what acting is about. Enjoying yourself and showing the world that the enjoyment that you're in.